A very warm welcome to all of you in this online maths lesson for third class. Students, we are going to do some multiple choice questions. You have to choose the right option and put a thick mark there. Let's start our class for today. Our first question is, how many squares make this rectangle? We know in a square all the four sides are equal. Let's count the number of squares shown in this figure. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In the next row 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So kids here we have 10 squares. This rectangle is made up of 10 squares. Option C, 10 is the correct option and we place a tick mark here. Which two shapes have four vertices? Let's examine the shapes given in all the four options. We will start from option A, a triangle and a rectangle. When we draw a triangle and a rectangle, we notice a triangle has three vertices and a rectangle has four vertices. This is not the required option. Now we will move to option B. We will draw a square and a circle. Here a square has four vertices and a circle has no vertex. Now in option C we will draw a rectangle and a square. The rectangle has four vertices. Likewise, the square also has four vertices. This is the required option and the right option. Option C, rectangle and square is correct and we will put a tick mark here. Question number third. A tile is shown here from the given options. Which pattern is made up of given tile? Look carefully kids. Observe the tile. It is a very interesting mental activity. Let's match the tile with the given patterns. Firstly, we will start from option A. Match the tile with option A, but it doesn't match. Now, with option B, then option C. We have noticed that it doesn't match with option A and C. It matches with the pattern at option B. Pattern at B is made up of the given tiles. So, B is the correct option and we will put a tick mark here. Our fourth question is, which shape is formed on joining the numbers? Here counting from 1 to 8 is given. We will join them and find out the figure or the shape formed by joining them. Let's start joining them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and from 8 to 1 again. On joining the numbers we get a 4 sided figure and we can see all the 4 sides are equal. So it is a square. A square has equal 4 sides. So C square is the correct option. We will choose it and put a tick mark at option C that is square. Now it's homework time kids. You have to revise all these MCQs at your home. Stay tuned to your online studies. Goodbye. Thanks.